Alright guys, so unfortunately my PS5 didn't record all the footage so I wasn't able to upload my video but it's okay, you know, things happen and then you have to, you know, redo your solo run which is very painful with the fallen evil rocks the tank room and yeah, it's not gonna be pretty, but I thought it'd be really cool to just upload the boss video and of course there will be a lot of time skips because it was getting a little out of hand because I was just experimenting and bear with me when I was doing this boss fight, this was my first attempt so I was kind of like just messing around and you can see here that cabal ads will spawn now this boss fight the boss fight is very tanky and it can be a bit frustrating especially when this boss loves to use the famous fireball or i like to call them the slowest tracking fireball no jutsu because it can one shot you and it goes so slow now the thing about this boss is it has a couple of phases where you do need to take down the bubble shield but as you guys know it's best to take down these red bars or these red cabals then you can deal with the boss. And the boss for the first phase always likes to stand around and shoot void. Now, please excuse my false promises. When using false promises on console, we do have this recoil and it's really hard to shoot anything from far distance, which mainly this nightfall is basically shooting from long distance. And you can see that the boss almost you know stepping back to orbit so this is when things can get really slow where you are debating to spam your to spam your heavy or your special weapon as in g2 now like i said i will do a time skip now you can use your weapons your heavy and special but the problem is the next phase we have to deal with unstoppable champions and let me say it is not fun if you have very low ammo to deal with the unstoppable champions so it's best to just use a infinite primary weapon or your grenades or your super a strong super by the way since we know top tree hunter isn't the best for the boss fight so i'll be using the auto rifle when the boss is on quarter health then this is when it spams the fireball no jutsu probably the slowest you know probably sasuke was teaching him some no jutsu but it didn't work out too well so he'll be spamming this probably like 10 times and basically you can do dps or you can just wait until he gets bored of spamming these fireballs which they can one shot you if you're not careful so of course i will do a time skip for this is probably really annoying just standing and waiting for the boss to get bored of spamming these fireballs. Alright, so after he got bored of spamming fireball no jutsu at me, now we can actually spam the auto rifle or you can use your heavy or, or your special to deal with the boss. Now I always like to use the auto rifle just to save heavy and special just to shoot between the crown or the wings of the boss. They do look like wings but then again it looks like a crown so you can actually do some critical headshots or critical precision shots by shooting the crown. Which is quite lovely because honestly it is hard to do DPS at the head of the boss. 
so of course I'm just trying to find a good angle so he won't spam void at me but finally the boss is focusing on something else so I will do a mini time skip for this until we can go to the next phase because this part's really boring and just to let everyone know this is on PS5 so even on PS5 the recoil is really bad on auto rifle so you can see my auto rifle is just moving here and there it's not staying still you know on like on PC so this is probably going to be a bit struggle of spamming primary weapons if you guys thought console aim is, is bad then this knife has a lot of console aim assist. So I decided to use my super a bit just to trap and stop a little champion when it spawns and I moved from the right side as well to do DPS at the boss. Now I was thinking maybe I could do full DPS at the stop all champion once it's tethered but it didn't really work out too well because I totally forgot that when the boss goes to the bubble shield it starts to spam these fireball no jutsu towards me. Now there are two unstoppable champions and this is probably the best time to spam your heavy or your special because the unstoppable champions sometimes they do teleport especially the last phase of the boss so I was just standing and waiting for them to walk towards me and be aware because they can one shot you when they do this animation where they push you and also burn you so this is quite dangerous if you are too close to the champion which is why I try to do as much DPS and if I do see them well two of them or they're too close or I'm not doing enough DPS then I just move to the other side and then wait At the same time, the boss is spamming fireball no jutsu. He does it around 18 times, 15 times. I lost count to be honest. It's just something that really annoys me about this boss fight where he just keeps spamming over and over and it makes you waste time. Of course, for the fire team, it wouldn't really matter so much. But for a solo, it can be a bit frustrating and it is the level of patience. And this is basically throughout this entire nightfall. Proving patience. Proving grounds, proving patience. So now I have to wait for the worst fireball no jutsu in history so I can go and break the bubble fuse. So time skip for this. After you know, wasting a lot of minutes of my life, you can actually now shoot the bubble fuse. Now, I was trying to do a different method where the boss can shoot the fuse or to the ground to just for, for just me using my auto rifle. But it didn't really work out too well, so if you are using hunter invisibility, then you can just turn invisible and then just use your heavy. So right now, I'm just trying to turn invisible and I was just trying to not use my heavy which maybe I should have done that but like I said I was doing some experimenting and I was just trying to see if I can find a way to make this boss stand still while using the void attack it did work out on my I would say on my other test run you know on, on a regular strike not a master I mean not on grandmaster master version but I was trying to do the same thing at the Grandmaster version, but it wasn't working out too well as I wanted to be. And this boss is very, very annoying. So then later on, I figure out you have to wait for the boss to stop shooting. And then you can mess around and then break the bubble fuse. So yeah, basically the level of patience where you need to wait and wait. Then you can move and hit the box. I mean, hit the bubble fuse. So 
So here you can use your heavy. So you can just spam a ton of it. And then just turn invisible. And then just wait for the boss to stop using this void attack. Or you could just take advantage of invisibility and then just go back and forth and shoot the heavy. So after spending some time trying to experimenting, silly me, now we can actually break the bubble and then just clear down the ads, the red bars. Now they're all red bars, there is no gold. Thank you Bungie for that. And I always just clear them down, you know, spam your tune and have these fireball jutsu chasing me, by the way, which is very frustrating. So now I'm just going back and forth towards this mini fire bridge and I saw the boss, I was like, oh no, that's not good. So I had to go back, I saw a fireball almost got me, which I was happy it didn't. I was a little bit lucky over here and then I decided to just stay here and just scout a little bit because I think I missed a couple of the red bars from up ahead. So I was just being a little cautious because the one thing about this you don't trust the boss don't trust the boss and don't trust unstoppable champions now the boss decided to just spam his fireball no jutsu which i don't like and then after that it just stopped so something weird happened later on so it was spamming fireball no jutsu right for the fireball tracking of death you know there are so many names we can call them but let's just make giggles and just call them fireball no jutsu so this boss for some reason was standing there usually it shoots void and stands here and there and does move around left and right you know and then later on it will just keep shooting void and then just stand still just like the first phase and of course the fireball almost got me not today boss <laughs> so i was just focusing on clearing the red bars then all of a sudden this boss wasn't moving or shooting void and i thought it was kind of a weird bug here like normally this doesn't really happen because i remember my master run he never does this, so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll take advantage of it. You know, might as well. I mean, if you were in a solo run, if anything happens like this, you definitely want to take advantage of it. So I was so happy. I was like, wow, this boss is not moving. Thank you, Bungie. It's been listening to my cries. And it said, you know what, Blitz, I'll give you a break. So then, finally, Bungie just, you know, disabled this boss and it's just standing still perfect right i can save my jutun i can save my heavy weapon and just use a crown and just spam other rifles since it's infinite primary you know nothing can go wrong you know so i just stand here and just spam other rifle until it's you know the quarter until it goes to the third bar now I'm going to do another mini time skip because this is probably going to be really, really long and I don't want to waste everyone's time of me spamming all the rifle. I was prepping for my special and my heavy because the next phase we're going to be dealing with two unstoppable champions and this boss was not shooting void at me. He was just standing still perfect i was really happy but things didn't go my way because i had to deal with probably the worst situation all for any solo player this is probably like the worst thing it could happen to anyone and i had unstoppable champion teleport on me i'm not even joking and i kind of panicked so i was trying to focus on this one and one teleported on me try to push me and I freaked out so basically this unstoppable champion was not supposed to be here but because Bungie just wanted to troll me as usual and my GM runs I had to deal with two unstoppable champions and it was just not pleasant so because this unstoppable champion teleported on me 
which wasn't a fun experience. I had to go back and forth, turn invisible, and have this boss shooting void at me at the same time these fire on the jutsu could could hit me if I'm too close at the boss or if I'm too close at the boss. I was spamming Jutun quite a lot. I had to spam everything because this is not supposed to happen. I was supposed to take down the Southwell champion from the right, and then the last one should be still walking from far distance or midway, but nope, didn't happen to me. The champion's like, nah, not blitz. They teleport in front of me, not fair, really, really unfair what happened, to be honest. I don't like that. I don't like teleportation of champions. And this is not fair. Like, imagine if I was in a Titan or a Warlock. Like, this would not be very pleasant because I'd probably be back to orbit right now if I was on Titan. Where you're just spamming, you know, linear fusion and then this boss teleports in front of you. I don't like that. And I feel like they need to do some tweaks for the proving grounds because it's still buggy. And the only thing they did in this is made the barrier champions more annoying and they nerfed the bubble fuse where Anarchy or Will the Horde, when you are trying to take down the bubble fuse, you have to be inside the bubble, you can't be outside unless you're using the exotic scout rifle where you can shoot through the bubble from long distance. That's probably only the best way to avoid the stomp from the boss. Of course, there are no time skip of me skipping the boss, you know, spamming the fire no jutsu. You know, I had to spend three minutes of my life, well, very frustrating and a headache of dealing with two unstoppable champions and one teleport in front of me, and it just wasn't fun. Now you can see here, I swear to the traveler that the unstoppable champion teleported in front of me. So there here is a slow motion. You can see the unstoppable champion teleport me. It's like, hello Blitz, gonna stop you back to orbit. In these situations, especially on a solo or fire team, this is not fair. Unstoppable champions should not do that. Should not teleport in front of you. And there's just too many bugs and too much RNG throughout this entire nightfall. And don't get me started with the one-shot unstoppable overload barrier rocks and teleportation at the final boss and the poorly design of the tank room. Now for this one, I will say this was probably really frustrating where I was trying to use all my heavy and then just going back and forth to shoot the fuse. So this part is going to be really, really boring because I was trying to rush here and I thought maybe crouching and walking really fast is going to make this boss not see me, but it didn't work out. So I figure out later on that you have to bait the boss, make a shoot void, and then crouch and walk really slow and make sure it's shooting from the opposite direction. So after five minutes, I did find out how to deal with this boss. So I'm gonna do a mini time skip for this. Alright, so you're probably thinking why I'm going really slow. I decided to go Metal Gear Solid and just take down the fuse. Now here's the weirdest thing that happened to me. I don't even know anymore to be honest. This boss, the knife is so buggy that it went to the point where I was taking down the fuse and the boss was shooting the fuse and for some reason the boss shot down the fuse. I don't know why, don't know how he could do that, I honestly am just confused as you and you will see very soon that I'm trying to take down the fuse, you know, just going back and forth, trying to play Metal Gear Solid, trying to bait this boss, and of course I almost got, you know, hit to back to orbit. 
I'm sorry to crouch, you know, walk very slow. You know, just to make sure this boss doesn't see me so I can, you know, use Jatoon might as well. Or I could use auto rifle, but that'll be very, very time consuming. So the boss was hopping and it was shooting and it was just so irritating. This is what happens when you're just using the auto rifle. Now you're probably thinking why I'm not using my special ammo. I want to spam all the ammo on the boss and of course I clear down the red bars. And now this is just me crouching and just walking really slow, you know, trying to sneak up to the boss. You know, let's just pretend we're snake. And you saw there that the boss was dancing and twirling like a ballerina. And that's the reason why I want to bait this boss, you know, make him shoot. And then just crouch and walk very slow. So this method seems to work for me. Of course, I could turn invisible. But I did try that, but he kept following me. Even though I turned invisible, it followed me and it was just so annoying. So I thought maybe this method seems to work best for me. And of course, I was trying to save my special and I messed up my DPS. And then this is when things got so confused. Can someone please explain to me what happened here? So the boss was shooting at something else. And I was trying to make this boss see me. And then all of a sudden, the bubble fuse exploded. The boss, I guess, shot down the fuse? Either that or I'm going cuckoo. I'm going crazy because I don't understand what happened there and I, I'm still trying to figure out if the auto rifle suddenly suddenly destroyed the bubble fuse or either Bungie felt pity for me and the boss just shot the fuse, you know, by itself when it's really close to it. Because usually those stuff never happen they never happen but I don't understand how did a fuse get destroyed you saw it there the boss was just shooting and shooting void and it just exploded the bubble fuse I, I don't understand can someone please explain to me what the doodles or what the bungee happened so now you saw I am just spamming your tune to clear down the ads. I'm still baffled at what happened with the bubble fuse. So the only explanation I can think of in this situation is the boss shot down the fuse on his own for some odd random reason. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of from this footage. It's basically that ridiculous. So now I am going to be waiting and waiting for the boss to stop shooting the fire upon the jutsu. So of course I'll be doing it time so I'm just gonna wait until the boss just stops spamming the fireball. Alright, so now the boss stopped shooting the fireball and the jutsu. Now we're gonna play the game where the boss teleports. OMG, why? Why does the boss do that? They really need to fix this boss. I don't like how the boss teleports like that. That is ridiculous. You know, good thing I have no music in the background. Probably wouldn't be able to hear it. So now what you can do here is spam your heavy and your super. Well, your heavy and your special. Now what I should have done here is use my super and then spam your tune, but I didn't. Or either that or you spam my heavy. So right now I am just going to spam my heavy. This is when things get really, really complicated and really annoying. When you run out of super, when you run out of special and heavy, don't get ammo back from Budgie. And basically you have infinite primary ammo. And the only thing you can do is use your super if it's very strong or just spam auto rifle, which will take a really, really long time. And 
Remember when I said console aim assist? Yeah, and the boss is gonna be hopping left and right. And it's really complicated to use a auto rifle, especially when you have no special and no heavy. And this is when things get annoying and frustrating. So basically, I have to use my auto rifle and it was just so annoying. So basically you can go back and forth. And there is also another way which I figure out later on because the boss was just taking so long. So I'm gonna do a time skip for this. So now I did figure out another method is I'm gonna go to the back of the map since I can't use my Jatoon or my heavy. I'm going to bait the boss to go in this direction so I can spam a lot of auto rifle. So I'm just making him jump here so I can go all the way back here. So I can actually do some DPS with auto rifle for probably, you know, a couple more seconds. Because I was just getting annoyed that the boss was going back and forth. So you can see here, I'm going to take him down. And it seems that he shoots backwards, right? And then he turns later on when you are near him. So that seems to be the best method, to be honest. I mean, for Hunter. Of course, on Warlock and Titan, you know, you'll have a strong DPS super. But if you're on top tree, Hunter, instead of bottom tree, then this is going to be the main problem when you run out of heavy and special. So I decided to do it again, the method. So I was gonna... So I was just baiting the boss, and then later on I'm going to go to the back of the map again, because this boss was just being so annoying. And for me, it just worked out for the auto arrival. Of course, if I had your tune and the heavy weapon, you know, this will be a different approach, but... I'm only using a primary weapon. There isn't really nothing I can do. So now I'm just baiting the boss, since this is the only situation I can think of. And then I'm gonna turn invisible and then just go back to the other side of the map. And hopefully he'll shoot the opposite direction so I can just spam my auto rifle. And this seemed to work. I was like, wow, this is working. I wish I could have done this 20 minutes ago, you know? So finally we defeated the boss. And we got platinum. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, to be honest, this nightfall isn't the hardest. It's just long, boring, annoying, and frustrating.